Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the constant flood of information in today's digital age? Have you ever found yourself struggling to distinguish between the essential and the trivial amidst the ceaseless noise of modern life? If so, then this video is for you. In this thought-provoking exploration, we delve into the complexities of human interaction, memory, solitude, and the challenges posed by the era of information overload. Join us as we navigate the labyrinth of modern existence, uncovering insights and strategies for finding clarity, meaning, and connection in an increasingly chaotic world. Stick around until the end as we offer practical tips and actionable advice to help you navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and resilience. Whether you're seeking to cultivate meaningful relationships, sharpen your memory, or find solace amidst the solitude of the digital age, this video has something for everyone. So grab a cup of tea, settle in, and let's embark on this journey of self-discovery together. It's time to reclaim our sense of clarity, purpose, and well-being in a world that often feels overwhelming and uncertain. Before we begin, I would appreciate it. If you like the video, you can help me continue spreading the Stoic philosophy. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any videos. If you like the topic of this video, please comment on number one. If you don't, please comment on number zero to let me know so that I can make a better video for you. Now let's begin. In the intricate dance of human emotions, the moments before slumber serve as a canvas upon which the tapestry of our deepest desires is woven. The individual who lingers in the corridors of our mind as we drift into sleep often becomes the focal point around which our feelings converge, their presence either a source of radiant joy or a harbinger of melancholy shadows. It is within this delicate balance of emotions that the true depth of affection reveals itself, expressed through subtle gestures and unspoken words. For the discerning observer, the signs of a girl's fondness are often found in the nuances of her demeanor. Like the delicate brushstrokes of an artist, she may paint her cheeks with a flush of color in your presence, a silent testament to the fluttering of her heart. Her gaze, too, may betray the nervous cadence of her thoughts, flickering away in shy retreat or lingering with a hesitant intensity. And in the sanctuary of silence, her voice may soften, its timbre a gentle caress that hints at the storm of emotions swirling within. Yet amidst the quietude, her laughter rings out like a melody, a symphony of affection that transcends the boundaries of words. But it is not only women who possess the ability to communicate love through silent means. Men too wield their silent language of affection, expressed through the modulation of their voice. In the presence of their beloved, their tones may deepen into a resonant baritone, suffused with a tenderness reserved for the most cherished of companions. And in the language of smiles, the sincerity of a woman's expression speaks volumes about the depth of her emotions. When her smile blossoms effortlessly in your presence, it is a reflection of the joy your company brings, an authentic expression of affection that defies imitation. Yet amidst the tapestry of emotions, there exists the enigma of distance, a careful retreat that belies the intensity of hidden desires. Sometimes it is those who maintain a cautious distance who harbor the deepest longings, their silence a veil that conceals the vulnerability of their hearts. In their stoic facade lies a paradoxical truth, that aloofness serves not as a shield against affection, but rather as a testament to the depth of their feelings. Memory, that labyrinthine repository of our lived experiences, weaves the intricate tapestry of our past, each thread bearing the weight of our joys and sorrows. Like a skilled artist, it paints the canvas of our minds with vivid hues, etching every detail with painstaking precision. For some, this gift of remembrance serves as a sacred testament to the depth of their emotional bonds, a reservoir overflowing with shared laughter, tears, and moments of unbridled connection. 
Yet amidst the tapestry of recollections, it is the unspoken farewells that leave the deepest scars upon our hearts. The absence of closure, like a wound left untended, festers within the recesses of our souls, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and unresolved emotions. In the silence that follows, the wisdom of restraint speaks volumes. A silent acknowledgement of the complexities of human relationships and the fleeting nature of our time together. Within the labyrinth of human connections, friendships stand as resilient threads, intertwining our lives in a tapestry of shared experiences. Psychologists attest that those bonds that withstand the crucible of seven years emerge fortified, their resilience a testament to the endurance of the human spirit. Yet amidst the chorus of accolades, a cautionary tale emerges, a reminder that excessive praise often conceals hidden agendas, a siren song that beckons the unwary into treacherous waters. In the realm of desire, subtlety reigns supreme, expressed through the delicate interplay of glances and gestures. A longing gaze cast surreptitiously from across the room betrays the silent yearning of the heart, while averted eyes offer sanctuary from the intensity of emotion. And in an era inundated with a deluge of information, the burden of remembrance grows ever heavier. Each digital footprint a fragment of memory lost in the vast expanse of cyberspace. Solitude, once a refuge for introspection, now stands as a silent adversary, its embrace akin to the insidious grip of nicotine, corroding the pillars of our mental and physical well-being. In the tender embrace of love's embrace, men often seek solace in the gentle cadence of their voices, each syllable imbued with the weight of their affection. Their tones, like whispered promises, dip into softer registers as they converse with the object of their desire, a melodic expression of the depth of their emotions. And in the silent spaces between words, it is the resonance of longing that echoes most loudly, the unspoken desires that reverberate through the corridors of the heart, yearning for recognition and acceptance. In the intricate dance of human interaction, the eyes emerge as silent sentinels, bearing witness to the truths that words dare not speak. Those who avert their gaze may be safeguarding secrets more precious than they dare admit. Love, like a delicate flower, may wither beneath the harsh glare of scrutiny. In the sacred act of confiding one's troubles, Vulnerability becomes a bridge that spans the chasm between two souls, a testament to the trust and intimacy shared between kindred spirits. It is not a mere recitation of grievances, but rather a sacred offering, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of connection. Stoicism encourages individuals to approach sex and beauty with moderation, self-discipline, and a focus on inner virtue rather than external desires. By practicing self-control and cultivating virtuous qualities, the Stoics believe that individuals can attain a deeper sense of fulfillment and contentment in their lives. In the delicate dance of love, those of a shy disposition often find themselves burdened by the weight of unspoken emotions, their innermost feelings veiled beneath layers of reticence. Their silence, akin to a fortress, serves as a protective barrier, shielding them from the vulnerability inherent in verbal expression. Yet within the recesses of their hearts, a tempest of emotions rages, each sentiment cloaked in secrecy, yearning for release. As the sands of time shift and swirl, memory emerges as a tapestry woven with intricate detail, each thread a testament to the depth of emotional investment. For women, blessed with the gift of remembrance, each recollection serves as a brushstroke upon the canvas of their lives, painting a vivid portrait of shared experiences and cherished moments. With each memory carefully preserved, they carry the weight of history upon their shoulders, guardians of the past and stewards of the future. The passage of time, that relentless tide, bears witness to the endurance of human connections as friendships stand as steadfast pillars amidst the shifting sands of life. 
Like ancient oaks weathering the storms of adversity, their roots intertwine in a bond that defies the ravages of time. And yet, amidst the chorus of praise and adulation, there lurks the shadow of deception, a reminder of the treacherous waters that lie beneath the surface of flattery. Excessive adulation, like a double-edged sword, cuts through the veneer of sincerity, laying bare the hidden motives that lie beneath. Thus, amidst the ebb and flow of human relationships, discernment becomes a valuable ally, guiding the wary traveler through the pitfalls of false prophets and empty promises. Stoicism encourages individuals to approach sex and beauty with moderation, self-discipline, and a focus on inner virtue rather than external desires. By practicing self-control and cultivating virtuous qualities, the Stoics believe that individuals can attain a deeper sense of fulfillment and contentment in their lives. In the intricate tapestry of desire, subtlety emerges as the reigning monarch, its presence woven into the fabric of stolen glances and whispered confessions. Within this realm, every gesture becomes a silent symphony, each movement a brushstroke upon the canvas of longing. A longing gaze cast surreptitiously from across the room betrays the silent yearning of the heart, while averted eyes offer solace from the relentless onslaught of emotion. It is in these moments of quietude that the true depth of desire is revealed, obscured by the veil of restraint yet pulsating with an intensity that defies containment. But amidst the whispers of desire, a cacophony of distractions threatens to drown out the echoes of our most cherished memories. In an age defined by information overload, the burden of remembrance grows heavier, each memory diluted by the deluge of data that inundates our daily lives. Like a river swollen with excess, the waters of memory become murky and turbid, their clarity obscured by the debris of irrelevant information. And amid this torrent, solitude, once a sanctuary for introspection, now stands as a silent adversary, its prolonged embrace akin to the toxic fumes of nicotine, corroding the very foundations of our health and well-being. Yet amidst the chaos, a glimmer of hope emerges, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit remains resilient. It is through the act of remembrance that we reclaim our sense of self, piecing together the fragments of our past to form a cohesive narrative of our lives. And in the quiet moments of reflection, amidst the clamor of the outside world, we find solace in the knowledge that our memories, though diluted and distorted, remain a testament to the richness of our human experience. In the grand tapestry of human emotions, matters of the heart unfold as a symphony of intricate complexities where the allure of physical beauty finds itself eclipsed by the profound depths of affection. Love, that enigmatic force that binds souls together, operates as a master artist, wielding its brush with deft precision to imbue its subjects with a luminous radiance that transcends the limitations of mere appearance. It is within the realm of love's embrace that the true essence of beauty reveals itself no longer confined to the constraints of outward aesthetics, but rather illuminated by the inner light of the soul. In the eyes of love, every imperfection becomes a cherished stroke upon the canvas of adoration, each flaw a testament to the unique intricacies of the beloved. Like a skilled artisan, love weaves its magic, transforming perceived blemishes into badges of honor each one adding to the tapestry of affection that envelops the heart. It is through this lens of adoration that the true essence of beauty is unveiled, no longer bound by societal standards or superficial judgments, but rather celebrated for its inherent authenticity and depth. For those who have experienced the transformative power of love, the allure of physical attractiveness pales in comparison to the soul-stirring connection forged through emotional intimacy and shared experiences. It is the intangible qualities, the warmth of a smile, the kindness of a gesture, the depth of understanding, that ignite the flames of passion and kindle the fires of desire. In the presence of true love, 
external attributes fade into insignificance, overshadowed by the profound bond that unites two souls in a journey of mutual discovery and growth. Thus, in matters of the heart, it is not the surface-level allure of beauty that captivates the soul, but rather the timeless appeal of genuine affection and unconditional acceptance. Love, in its purest form, sees beyond the outward facade to embrace the essence of the beloved, recognizing and cherishing the inherent worth and beauty that resides within. And it is within the sacred sanctuary of love's embrace that true beauty finds its most exalted expression, shining brightly as a beacon of hope and inspiration in a world often shrouded in darkness. Stoicism encourages individuals to approach sex and beauty with moderation, self-discipline, and a focus on inner virtue rather than external desires. By practicing self-control and cultivating virtuous qualities, the Stoics believe that individuals can attain a deeper sense of fulfillment and contentment in their lives. In the intricate tapestry of human relationships, farewells stand as poignant markers, each one etching its indelible imprint upon the fabric of our lives. The agony of parting, when left unspoken and unexplained, reverberates through the corridors of the heart with a haunting resonance, casting shadows of sorrow upon the soul. It is the absence of closure that inflicts the deepest wounds, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions and lingering regrets that linger like ghosts in the twilight hours. Yet amidst the tumult of emotions that accompany farewells, there exists a quiet wisdom in the act of silence, a recognition that some words are better left unspoken, their weight too heavy to bear. In the sacred space of silence, there is solace to be found, a refuge from the storm of emotions that threatens to engulf the weary traveler. It is within this hallowed sanctuary that the heart finds respite, allowing time for wounds to heal and emotions to settle like sediment in the still waters of introspection. For in the absence of words, there lies a profound depth of understanding, an acknowledgement of the limitations of language in conveying the complexities of human emotion. Sometimes the truest expressions of love and sorrow are found not in the spoken word, but in the silent embrace, where the language of the heart transcends the boundaries of speech. And so, as we navigate the labyrinth of farewells and partings, let us embrace the quiet wisdom of silence, allowing it to guide us through the tumultuous waters of separation. For in the gentle hush of silence, we may find the peace and closure that eludes us in the cacophony of words. And in the stillness of our hearts, we may discover the healing balm of acceptance and understanding. In the turbulent battleground of conflict, where emotions run high and tempers flare, the mark of true wisdom manifests not in the tumultuous clamor of confrontation, but in the tranquil serenity of silence. To withhold retaliation in the face of provocation, to choose the path of non-engagement over the futile exchange of words, is a testament to the depth of understanding and restraint that resides within the human spirit. In the heat of the moment, when emotions threaten to overwhelm reason, it takes great courage and strength to remain steadfast in the face of adversity. The decision to ignore a transgression, to turn the other cheek rather than succumb to the temptation of retribution, is not a sign of weakness, but rather a demonstration of profound inner strength, a recognition that true power lies not in the ability to dominate others, but in the capacity to control oneself. For in the crucible of conflict, where egos clash and grievances abound, the pursuit of peace often requires a willingness to set aside pride and ego in favor of understanding and reconciliation. It is a choice born out of empathy and compassion, a recognition that beneath the veneer of anger and resentment lies a shared humanity that transcends differences. By choosing the path of silence, one acknowledges the futility of engaging in verbal sparring matches that only serve to escalate tensions and deepen divisions. Instead, one seeks to cultivate an atmosphere of mutual respect and understanding, 
where differences are celebrated rather than vilified, and where conflicts are resolved through dialogue and compromise rather than through coercion and force. In this way, the mark of true wisdom becomes not only a personal triumph, but also a beacon of hope for a world fraught with discord and strife. It is a reminder that peace is not a passive state, but rather an active pursuit, one that requires courage, empathy, and above all, a willingness to listen and understand. Friendships, those sacred and cherished connections, forged from the tapestry of shared experiences and mutual understanding, stand as enduring monuments to the resilience of the human spirit. Like threads intricately woven into the fabric of our lives, they serve as pillars of support, offering solace in times of hardship and celebration in moments of joy. According to the sage wisdom of psychologists, friendships that withstand the trials and tribulations of seven years emerge as fortified bastions of camaraderie, their bonds tempered and strengthened by the crucible of time. Yet, amidst the warmth and camaraderie that characterize these cherished relationships, there exists a lurking shadow, a cautionary tale that serves as a reminder of the pitfalls that may lie in wait. Beware the seductive allure of flattery, for it often disguises ulterior motives and hidden agendas. Like a siren song, it beckons with honeyed words and promises of adulation. Yet beneath its beguiling exterior lies the insidious danger of manipulation and deceit. In the complex dance of human interaction, flattery may masquerade as genuine praise, its intoxicating charm clouding the discerning eye and luring the unsuspecting into a web of falsehoods. It is a subtle art practiced by those adept at manipulating the emotions of others for personal gain. Yet behind the facade of compliments and admiration lies a dark undercurrent of deception where sincerity is sacrificed at the altar of self-interest. Therefore, let us tread cautiously in the realm of praise and admiration, for not all accolades are bestowed with pure intentions. Let us remain vigilant against the whispers of false prophets and the allure of deceptive flattery, recognizing that true friendship is built not on empty compliments, but on a foundation of honesty, trust, and mutual respect. In doing so, we safeguard the sanctity of our relationships, preserving them as beacons of light in an often murky and treacherous world. In the rich tapestry of human interactions, subtlety reigns supreme, weaving its intricate threads through the delicate dance of gestures and expressions. It is in these silent exchanges that the true depth of emotion is often revealed, transcending the limitations of language and articulating desires that words alone cannot convey. A lingering glance, a gentle touch, these are the silent whispers of desire that reverberate through the corridors of the heart, leaving an indelible imprint upon the soul. In the labyrinth of desire where hearts beat in synchrony and passions ignite like wildfire, subtle cues betray the longing that lies dormant within. It is in the stolen glances exchanged across crowded rooms in the furtive gestures that brush against the skin like a gentle caress, that the language of desire finds its most eloquent expression. For a woman, her desire is like a flame flickering in the darkness, casting its warm glow upon the object of her affection. If she yearns for your touch, her gaze will linger upon you, drawn irresistibly like a moth to a flame. From afar, her eyes may seek you out, tracing your every movement with an intensity that defies explanation, a silent plea for recognition and reciprocation. Yet in the age of information overload, where the cacophony of distractions threatens to drown out the whispers of the heart, the burden of remembrance grows heavier with each passing day. In a world saturated with data and noise, the clarity of memory becomes increasingly elusive each recollection diluted by the deluge of information that bombards our senses. And in the solitude once cherished as a sanctuary for introspection, now stands as a silent adversary. Its prolonged embrace, akin to the toxic fumes of nicotine, 
corroding the foundations of health and well-being. Amidst this tumultuous sea of stimuli, it is easy to lose sight of the subtle nuances that define human connection and desire. Yet it is in the quiet moments of reflection, amidst the stillness of our thoughts, that we may rediscover the beauty of subtlety and reclaim the intimacy that lies at the heart of our most cherished relationships. It is in these moments of silence that the whispers of the heart are most clearly heard, guiding us along the path of true connection and fulfillment. In the modern age, characterized by the boundless availability of information at our fingertips, we find ourselves confronted with a paradoxical challenge. While we have unparalleled access to a wealth of knowledge, the very abundance of data threatens to overwhelm our capacity for meaningful recollection. In the ceaseless torrent of clicks and scrolls that define our daily existence, the lines between significance and triviality become increasingly blurred, and the task of preserving cherished memories amidst the deluge of information grows ever more daunting. In this era of information overload, the ability to discern between the essential and the ephemeral emerges as a coveted skill, one that demands constant cultivation and unwavering vigilance. Amidst the ceaseless cacophony of digital noise, the pursuit of clarity and meaning becomes a veritable quest, requiring a steadfast commitment to sifting through the endless stream of data in search of nuggets of wisdom and insight. Yet, as the tendrils of solitude tighten their grip upon the soul, the toll on one's well-being becomes all too apparent. Prolonged periods of isolation, akin to a solitary confinement of the spirit, exact a heavy toll on both mind and body. Research has illuminated the profound impact of loneliness on mental and physical health, with studies suggesting that the detrimental effects of social isolation rival those of habitual smoking. Like the insidious tendrils of nicotine, the corrosive effects of loneliness seep into every crevice of our being, eroding the shores of our mental and physical well-being and leaving behind the wreckage of shattered resilience. In the face of this formidable challenge, it becomes imperative to cultivate a sense of connection and community, to seek solace in the warmth of human interaction and the embrace of genuine relationships. It is in the bonds forged through shared experiences and mutual support that we find refuge from the storm of isolation. And it is in the company of kindred spirits that we discover the true richness and meaning of life. In the grand tapestry of human existence, the threads of desire and longing weave a complex web of emotion, each strand a testament to the depth of human experience. From the subtle glances that betray hidden desires to the silent whispers of memory that echo through the corridors of time, the intricacies of the human heart defy simple explanations. And in the labyrinth of modern life, where the cacophony of noise threatens to drown out the whispers of the soul, it is in the quiet moments of introspection that we find solace, listening for the echoes of our deepest desires amidst the tumult of the world. Stoicism encourages individuals to approach sex and beauty with moderation, self-discipline, and a focus on inner virtue rather than external desires. By practicing self-control and cultivating virtuous qualities, the Stoics believe that individuals can attain a deeper sense of fulfillment and contentment in their lives. As we conclude our exploration into the intricacies of human interaction, memory, solitude, and the complexities of modern life, we invite you to reflect on what you have learned thus far. In a world inundated with information and distractions, it becomes crucial to cultivate discernment and prioritize meaningful connections over fleeting indulgences. Remember, amidst the noise of the digital age, the whispers of the heart still hold the key to true fulfillment and well-being. Now we encourage you to share your insights with us. What is one thing you have learned from this discussion that you intend to bring into practice in your own life? Whether it's prioritizing meaningful relationships, honing your ability to discern between the essential and the trivial, or cultivating resilience in the face of solitude, 
we'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments below this video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more thought-provoking content. Your engagement helps us continue to create and share content that inspires and enriches our community. Thank you for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.